Welcome back. Time to continue onward in Mount Torla. Yeah, because I get hurt by fight. In fact, what I could do is equip that and then. Although I still get knocked back, I don't get hurt. So now that this room is manageable. I mean, the whole point is, I was about to comment that it's it might be possible to complete the game without the charm boots. It could be difficult, but possible. But I don't think it is, because you wouldn't be able to realistically do this room. Because you've got to carry that rock across lava. There aren't really enough jumping platforms to do it. It might be physically possible if you were determined enough, but you'd have to get your jumps absolutely perfect on these. It's not going to happen, realistically. I, mean, I guess the point of those rocks there is that it is possible. Unless they just want to make you try so that they can make you suffer. I don't know. And this is what the key's for. So even if you did somehow make it up here, why would you have opened the key chest and not the charm boots chest? Uh, there we go, I think this might be approaching the... Yes, this is it, this is the one. This is... a good candidate for worst puzzle in the game. I mean, there's the ice puzzle in Klein's Nightmare was pretty bad, but this is also a really annoying one. There are seven glasses. So you have to light all seven torches. Each time you do so, it closes some of the gates. So it's a pathfinding exercise because you need to get around. You have to finish here so you can get back to that in the middle. Actually, no, you just need to finish somewhere that's got external access. So. It's a network's problem, really. Yeah, you could just you just go in the lava where you can't bother me. So yeah, this puzzle is a pain. So if you do that first, you shoot yourself here, that's not necessarily a problem. But Is that and now I'm stuck so what's that closed? Let's close that one which is fine because I don't need to get through there. That was silly. Oh yeah, you have to finish here. That's fine because that being closed off is absolutely fine.
And now let's light that. And then that, because I don't need to get back in there. How many is that now? Four? Again, this room perfectly possible without the boots, but why would you? Okay, I don't... Because hmm. if I do... Okay. So let's leave that one for now. So I need to leave that one so I can get back in here. I need to leave that one so I can get back in here. No, I don't. Hmm. So that would have closed that one. Then let's close that one, which is fine because I don't need to get through there. I need to be able to get back into this room, so I need to leave that one till last. Which means I need to know. Oh. Will I be able to get back in here any other way? I need to keep this route open so that I can trace it back around. So then start with that. And then I don't need to come back around here. I have to come this way out of here. So. That. And then that. So if I do that, then come in here, yeah I think this is right, so everything closes behind me, which is fine because I'm moving forwards. There we go. So yeah, that puzzle's actually not that bad. You just have to be calm and think through it logically. It's not a great huge chain of logic like the Pillars in Klein's Nightmare. No, this is, this is the thing. I believe this is the place. As I cross the bridge, I'm going to get assaulted by Phoenixes. And if you're just advancing, you think not to do anything, but you have to do something because... The Gilded Falcon is in here. Because realistically, you're probably not going to get knocked off even if the Phoenixes do attack you, you'd have to do quite badly to get knocked off, so you probably wouldn't come down here anyway. And that's how you end up missing the falcon like I did one time. Uh, no, that. Mm -hmm. 
find this in bouncy fun. Yeah, you have to aim quite well. You have to aim very well. As ever, a hundred shudder is the guideline. Shiny thing. So yeah, pro tip, don't miss that falcon. It's one of the easiest ones to miss. Oh yes, I remember this puzzle. I don't necessarily remember how to solve it, but I remember it. So, starting here... And then... No, I feel like I was the wrong move. Mm. No, actually, it should be fine. And then there. And then there. That's one done. Nothing else in here. that one. So we've got that, but then... Oh, I know. Push that over there. That there. That up. Um, why are you... <sighs> That's just annoying. Why didn't that one lie?
Thank you. I think I'm near the end now. Should be one more chest to head. You wouldn't think fight wanted to harm these guys, would you? But it does. Now, if you manage to miss this chest, you really deserve to miss what's in it. Because it's right there! <laughs> Now for the cheesiest boss of all time, because I have Nova's charm and I have the well, you have to have the ice wand. The ice wand is the only thing you can harm the boss with. Not one of Wilder's attacks can hurt them. I'm just going to stand here and take it. Come on, put your head back down. And since I've got so much time between attacks, no sense not doing charged ones. Let's make a show of dodging the attacks just to show that I could if I wanted to. I mean, this isn't an extremely challenging fight, even if you don't have Nava's charm. How much more HP have you got, Wilder? Come on. 
submit. There we go. Frosty. Put wilder shades on ice. Plot coupon. This is quite disconcerting. Just the head goes and the neck. I'm not sure that's meant to indicate that Wilder would continue to decay, but we can only see the first bit, or whether just there goes. Also, it's not clear whether Wilder is male or female, but I, th mm, I think male. But I'm not certain. No, it's not what you're thinking. The Merg just don't give up. Do they? Apart from Maya, but I suppose in terms of rescuing someone, that would be down to me. Maya's not really a warrior. Come on, Septimus. We've already done that, Septimus. Come on, give us the program. Who do I need to talk to? There we go.
you know, that one that everyone has. Really popular book that. Have I mentioned how cool gimmick dungeons are? And <sighs> I fail to see why I can't just charge in there. It's not really just what would happen if you if they woke up while you were in there. Maybe they just can't. Maybe it's physically impossible for them to wake up while it's a dream walker in the dream. Final dream dungeon, okay go. So we have three phasey green flashy statue things. Opposites, mirrors, one might say. Why are they Merg in here? That's the question to be asking here. Right, it is a significant question. Right. Bottom left, top left, top right, bottom right. That's important to remember. Started from the bottom left and went around the top. And it needs to be mirrored. Starting at the top right and going around anti-clockwise. So it's going to be starting at the top left and going around clockwise. No, 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 I did not step on a bloody thing. Reset. Ugh. And getting the idea. You notice there's also a sort of red tint, blue tint thing going on here for the two halves. Everything is symmetrical. It's a lovely bit of dungeon design. No platform at the top, it's at the bottom, but otherwise identical room just mirrored. And this, different merg in there, but same room design. Now which way? That's locked, so let's leave that. I can't get up there until the end. Oh, I've lost track of where I'm going. Well, that's it for this episode. I think. If you've enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like, share, favourite, and comment. Help support the channel. Follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with what's going on. And subscribe if you want to see more. Hmm. I just want to try and work this bit out. Perhaps it's a bit of reverse psychology.
so accustomed to putting things on switches. <laughs> oh yes. Is it still being closed? Yeah. Anyway. As I say, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.